Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Property Lim Brothers New Launch Review where we will go through an in-depth analysis on newly launched properties and why they might be suitable for you. Today, we are bringing you to Javois Treasures at the prestigious District 10 of Singapore where in this video, we will unravel everything about the project ranging from the location, the development itself and the pricing comparison in the Javois and River Valley area, so stay tuned. You have to pay a premium to enjoy the white space that comes along with this penthouse unit. This entire project Something that's very interesting is that on this particular step, which is step 9, one, one drop off point, point, you have a gym plus So we're gonna head in, let's go! Mission control, we have liftoff. To start off, let's jump into the location analysis of Javois Treasures. The project is located at 31 Javois Road, where there are mostly low-rise, private, non-landed residential properties. And across Javois Road, you will find the Chatsworth Good Class Bungalow Enclave, which expands out all the way to Tangling Road and Nathan Road. If you look around the site area where Javois Treasures is nestled at, you can only see one landed residential property adjacent to it and because of the cul-de-sac location, the road leading to Javois Treasures is a no-through road. This means that there will be very minimal exposure to traffic noise and this is certainly a great point to note for those who value privacy and serenity for your living environment. If you are looking to finance your next home at Javois Treasures, we found that Property Guru Finance has comprehensive tools to help you get the best mortgage rates across all major banks. Property Guru now offers home financing services. If you are unsure which bank to go with for your loan or urgently need to place an option to purchase, turn to Property Guru Finance to compare loans and get an in-principle approval. Get honest, unbiased advice from experienced mortgage experts who will handle all the paperwork, making your home loan application hassle-free. Once you have taken your loan, use SmartRefy to monitor it. SmartRefy will track your loan and tell you the right time to refinance, giving you extended peace of mind. And all of this is absolutely free. Save money on your mortgage with Property Guru Finance today. Beyond the no-through road is Alexandra Canal, where that leads you to the Singapore River. You will also find the Alexandra Park Connector, where you can indulge in your daily jogs or casual night walks, and this too leads to the Singapore River as well. Now in terms of schools, I think parents will be thrilled to know that there are four schools within a one kilometer radius, which includes Alexandra Primary School, Gunning Singh School, Crescent Girls School, and Changte Primary School. All the schools are less than 2-5 to five minutes drive or a 5-10 to 10 minutes walk away. So parents, you don't have to worry about your children having to travel too far away from school. If you look at the map, Javois Treasures is part of District 10, but once you cross the Alexandra Canal, you'll reach Chiang Bahru, which is part of District 3. In other words, the Alexandra Canal is also a divider that separates District 3 and 10, and that places Javois Treasures in a more premier location with a more sought-after home address. Additionally, being close to the Chatsworth Good Class Bungalow area, residents can have a view across and beyond the entire landed enclave. Lastly, other than having privacy and serenity, one of the best parts of living along Javois Road is the close proximity to the Orchard Road shopping belt as well as Dempsey Hill where you will find a myriad of retail and food options in central Singapore. Moving on to the development itself, Javois Treasures is developed by Fragrance Treasures Private Limited which is a subsidiary of the veteran property developer Fragrance Group. They have developed offices, industrial and residential properties under the belt and some of the residential projects include Park Rosewood, Urban Vista and Kensington Square. The project is designed by RSP Architects, Planners and Engineers which has an impressive portfolio including Jewel Changi Airport, Funan Mall, The Interlace and Digleden. So now moving on to the key information about the project. The developer has bought the land via a collective sale for $46.3 million back in March 2018, which works out to be around $1,683 per square foot per plot ratio. Javois Treasures has a single residential tower of five storeys, a total of 36 units atop 1,834 square meters or 19,741 square feet of land filled with full condominium facilities. The project is of an apartment status, freehold tenure, and is slated to achieve TOP status by 31st of March 2022. What we do know is that the land plot has a rather square shape, which essentially provides better efficiency in terms of space allocation between the residential tower and its facilities. Looking at the surroundings, 
Jervois Road receives its reputation as a quiet and private residential enclave because there are only a handful of private non landed residential developments here. Also, looking at the URA master plan, this area also has a low plot ratio of 1.4 as compared to other projects along River Valley Road with plot ratios of 2.8. With such a prime land allocated for residential developments, each land plot size is also considerably small. This explains why most projects such as Petit Javois, Javois Lodge, Javois Jade and Mont Javois have less than 150 units for each project, translating to a rather small population along Javois Road. Moving on to the site plan and its facilities, the project has a general northwest facing from the main entrance, which ensures that the project does not receive full and direct sunlight throughout the day. The project has a total of 37 car parking lots, including one handicap lot, which is sufficient for at least one lot per unit. For privacy's sake, the developer has placed all the facilities at the opposite end from the main entrance. Because the residential tower is constructed between the main entrance and the facilities, this ensures that non-residents will not be able to see you waddle at a pool or having your BBQ party at a function room. And speaking of the pool, Javois Treasures has full condominium facilities which includes the swimming pool, an outdoor gym, function room, children's playground and BBQ deck. These are definitely sufficient for a community of just 36 households. On the interior, the developer has adopted high-quality fixtures for the bathrooms, including sanitary brands such as Hans Grover and Duravit. Being a luxury condominium, the developer decided on these brands for their exquisite design and long shelf life. Although residents are unlikely to be receiving a full-blown sunlight at any time of the day, to curb the possibility of sunlight entering the house when you don't want it to, the developer has suggested a possible solution to include an aluminium sliding screen with a fixed angle louver for the balcony as a shield from the sun. This is an approved alteration to all the units if you choose to enclose the balcony, but of course, it will be an ad optional add-on with additional cost to buyers. Now let us talk on the unit mix of this project. Javois Treasures has a mix of 1 to 3 bedroom units, with the largest units being the 3 bedroom penthouse. So be it as an investor finding your next investment vehicle or a home buyer searching for your next nest, there are certainly options for you in this project. There are a total of 5 levels in the residential tower with 8 different stacks. 8 units on level 2 to 5 and 4 units on level 1. As of writing, 3 units have been sold by the developer. Because there are only 36 units available, the only 3 bedroom dual key and 3 bedroom penthouse unit type has been snatched up as a time of writing. In terms of layout configuration for the one bedroom units, there are four types in total, ranging from 506 to 592 square feet. The first type is a patio unit on level one, which is also the smallest of all four types, standing at 506 square feet, while the rest are built on level two onwards. Stack six have a north waist facing from the balcony, while stack one and two have theirs facing southeast, which is also facing internally at the facilities. All of them have similar space allocation for the kitchenette, living and dining area, master room as well as the ensuite master bathroom, but the one bedroom unit at stack number two has an additional study area, hence the larger size at 592 square feet. One thing to note is that the developer has already built in vertical louvered screens outside the master room's AC latch for some of the units and we reckon that this might be a facade design feature but also as a pseudo sun shield for your air conditioner. They've done so for selected 2 and 3 beta units as well and in case if you're wondering if this might block off your view, fear not because the screens do not span the whole AC latch. Now moving on to the 2 bedroom units, there are a total of 5 types on stacks 4, 5, 7 and 8, sizes ranging from 624 to 893 square feet. Zooming into stacks number 7 and 8, we have the types 2BRAG and types 2BRA1 and A2. The main differences between them is that the 2BRAG unit type has a patio, while 2BRA1 and A2 have balconies. And 2BRA1 and A2 are mirrored layouts of each other's at stacks 7 and 8 respectively. The sizes are similar, ranging from 786 to 797 square feet, and all three unit types come with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an enclosed kitchen. For stack number five, we have types 2BRG and 2BRB, ranging from 624 square feet for the ground floor unit and 721 square feet for the rest of the levels. Both unit types have dumbbell layouts where the master room and common bedroom are located on the extreme left and right hand side of the unit, and this certainly helps to make the units more spacious. 
sufficient. The main difference in size comes from the balcony space, where the ground floor unit does not come with a patio space, but the units above, on stack number 5, do come with balconies. And the last type of two-bedroom unit at stack number 4 has the largest floor space, standing at 893 square feet. The configuration is similar to stacks number 7 and 8, but the increase in size is attributed to an additional balcony in the master room a yard, a larger dining area where you can place a work desk for whenever you're working from home, and a walk-in wardrobe space in the master room's entrance, which is great so that you can have more walking space within the master room. Now overall, we feel that the two bedroom units are adequately sized because you are able to fit in at least a queen size bed in all the bedrooms. Also, having two bathrooms is definitely a plus point because there are many newer developments that comes with a single bathroom in a two bedroom unit. If you are a couple looking for just two bedrooms but you value the use of a yard for your laundry and you love walk-in wardrobes, then the unit stack number four might be suitable for you. So next on the list are the three bedroom units with a total of three different types and ranging from 1,120 to 1,432 square feet. The first type is the standard three bedroom unit at 1,130 square feet where it comes with two bathrooms, an enclosed kitchen, yard and utility. The second type is the dual key three bedroom unit at 1,227 square feet with three bathrooms, two living and dining areas, kitchenettes and patios. If you are a young couple looking for a property which can be both a home for own stay and also an investment property with rental income, but yet you do not want to share your living space, the dual key unit will definitely suit you better. However, if you are a family looking for a home purely for your own use, then the three bedroom standard unit will then be more preferable. The third and last three bedroom unit type is the three bedroom duplex penthouse standing at 1,432 square feet. It comes with three bathrooms with a common bedroom on level one, a master and junior suite with two ensuite bathrooms on level two, and a roof terrace outside your master room. As we do see many penthouses offering a full roof terrace for duplex or triplex units, if you're someone who prefers more internal enclosed space rather than outdoor, this unit might suit you better. In addition, it too comes with a kitchen yard and utility room, similar to the standard three bedroom unit. If you love luxury and you enjoy having privacy for your master room with an outdoor space for your workouts, this duplex unit would definitely appeal to you. Now moving on to the price analysis of Javois Treasures, there are three units snatched up to the point of writing within the project, notably the three bedroom penthouse, the three bedroom dual key, and one standard three bedroom unit. If we exclude those, the price ranges from $2,496 per square foot to $2,753 per square foot, which is lower than the average indicated prices we see in District 10 for freehold new launches yet to be completed. In fact, freehold projects that have already attained TOP status in the last five years are still garnering at a $2,700 PSF on average, which makes Javois Treasures an undervalued new launch project. Of course, we normally see larger volatility in District 10 transaction prices as compared to other districts within the rest of Central Region or outside Central Region projects because of the higher correlation between the location and price in core Central Region projects. As a result, Javois Treasures being located close to the boundary of District 10, it is priced distinctively lower as compared to the general District 10 new launch prices. Comparing Javois Treasures to its neighbouring projects along Javois Road and close to the Chatsworth Good Class Bungalow area, the current resale asking prices in terms of per square foot are ranging from 1330 to 2290 in the vicinity, whereas the voice treasures is ranging from 2400 plus to 2700 plus PSF. The disparity is likely due to Javois Treasures being a freehold property and being the newest kid in the block to reach TOP status. However, to keep the prices at the more palatable quantum, the developer has built mostly one and two bedroom units. Thus, in terms of the overall quantum prices, they range from $1.36 to $2.88 million and this is still within the average price range of the area. Across the Alexandra Canal, although Alexandria Condo is within 500 meters from Javois Treasures, the district disparity and age difference between the two has resulted in a $700 to $900 difference in terms of PSF. So one can argue that Alexandria is much cheaper and makes a battle purchase, but buying a property within District 10 is an entirely different value in terms of status. 
Age is something worthy for consideration as Alexandra is almost 20 years older than Javois Treasures and from an investment perspective, does buying an older property have the same rate of appreciation as compared to a new launch project? Ultimately, micro demand factors, macroeconomic factors and the type of lifestyle you prefer will have to be considered before making your move. Lastly, if we compare Javois Treasures' closest neighbour literally and figuratively, Petit Javois has more similarities than any other comparable. Petit Javois is slated to attain its TOP status in February 2022. It has a total of 55 units and is a freehold property as well. Regardless of location, number of units, tenure and age, Javois Treasures and Petit Javois are almost identical. But how do the prices differ between them? Petit Javois has a PSF price range from 2006 to 3000 and a quantum price range from 1.81 million to 3.36 million dollars. Javois Treasures on the other hand is priced lower both in terms of PSF or quantum value. The difference might be due to Petit Javois being positioned as an even more luxurious development than Javois Treasures given the more premium architecture and high-end finishing and fixtures used in their homes. Now come to the end of our review of Javois Treasures in our new launch series. We hope that you have enjoyed today's episode as much as we do. If you would love to read more about this project or any other new launch projects, do head to our Property Link Brothers Insights page for more information and analysis. And if you still have burning questions regarding this project or the real estate market in general, do reach out to our property consultants for a chat and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Do remember to hit like and subscribe to our Property Link Brothers YouTube channel as well as other social media platforms. My name is Yongjun, thank you and have a great week ahead. Okay.